I'm Dr. Liz Vincenzi. I'm the lead veterinarian for the PAWS Animal Shelter. Right now I'm in the, our spay-neuter clinic where we do the spay-neuter surgeries and other procedures on the animals in our care. Hi, I'm Danica. Um, I'm the Cat City lead here at PAWS Cat City. And my main job description is to help adopters find you know, their perfect magnet in an adoptable cat. Um, I also help oversee the volunteers that we have here and they're definitely a large part of what we do at PAWS. I'm the lead veterinarian for the animal shelter, so I'm in charge of all the medical and surgical care for any animal that comes into the shelter. Um, so animal health definitely comes into play here on a regular basis. Um, we get animals with all different kinds of backgrounds. We're also constantly monitoring the cats, so every day we take a look at them um, to see if there's any signs that they're maybe getting sick. Um, Toby here, he looks great, but sometimes, you know, kitties get colds while they're in the shelters. part is taking these animals that have no history, maybe they haven't had a family, maybe they've been in another shelter for a long time, and helping them uh, on their path to finding a new home and taking care of their medical needs so they can find the right home. You know, my favorite part is just seeing these guys go to their forever homes. Um, you know, some of them have had kind of a rough past. You know, we get sometimes stray animals, ones that have um, their owners were unable to care for them anymore, so they ended up with us. Um, and we also pull animals from a lot of shelters um, that have an overflow problem. So um, seeing these guys get adopted and find their forever homes is, is a great portion of the job. I got started at PAWS as a volunteer. Um, I was going to school at UW, working at a math degree, which is nothing related to what I'm doing now, but I ended up getting hired on. So. Um, a lot of what uh, relates to getting a job in an animal welfare organization or another animal organization is getting experience with the animals. So um, starting as a volunteer is the best way to go if you're looking into that. Um, just because that hands-on experience is, um, is very useful for getting a job. So I took kind of an unusual path um, to becoming a veterinarian. When I graduated from high school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I went to the University of Washington right out of high school and got my bachelor's in psychology. And then I worked um, in non-veterinary medicine for a few years while I tried to figure out what I wanted to do. And then when I decided I wanted to be a veterinarian, I had to go back to school and take some more science classes and then apply to that school. So if you're going to be a veterinarian, the best thing to do is to keep your grades up and study hard because it is competitive and difficult to get into veterinary school and the higher the grades you have, the better chance you have of getting in. You want to take all your science classes, that's the most important thing. And then the other thing that vet schools look for is um, a wide experience in animal work. They want to make sure you know what you're getting into. So volunteering at vet clinics, volunteering at wildlife centers or zoos, anything, any experience you can get with the animals help you know that it's a career for you.